In a quiet wooden home, a boy with messy hair takes apart a pocket watch, his eyes already searching for answers. In a tiny shed, jars bubble, wires spark. Young Edison's imagination catches its first fire. While others memorize, he dreams. Sketching machines on a slate, his mind too restless for the classroom walls. On a rattling train, ink on his hands, Edison prints his own newspaper. Proof that curiosity can earn its way forward. In a basement lit by oil lamps, clutter becomes creation. Every failed mix, every scribbled note, shaping the man he is becoming. The click of a telegraph sings to him. Signals, wires, sketches, ideas racing faster than sound itself. Moonlight and lamplight, nights blur into mornings. His body is tired, but his spirit refuses rest. Another bulb burns out. Another prototype shatters, yet in his faint smile lives the strength to try again. Shelves stacked with broken glass, a graveyard of experiments. But Edison stands tall, seeing not failure, but one step closer. And then, light. A fragile bulb glows steady, golden, sweat on his brow, triumph in his eyes. A hall gasps in wonder, for the first time, Darkness is broken by man's own hand, and the world takes notice. New York shimmers at night, street lamps blazing, carriages roll beneath a city reborn, patents, handshakes, photographs. The world celebrates him. The work, not the fame, is his prize. Menlo Park hums alive. Edison is no longer just an inventor. He is a teacher of light. Years later, hair fully white, hands wrinkled, he still holds a glowing bulb, one bulb shining in the dark, a symbol of every failure transformed into brilliance from a curious boy to the man who lit the world. Proof that failure is not the end, but the path to greatness. This was the legend decode of Sir Thomas Alva Edison, the man who turned failure into life.